Angus, I believe we received an interesting letter this week. That's correct, Dylan. It comes from a Mr. Arthur Roberts who writes, I'm not a fan of your show, but having viewed the end of last week's episode, I was horrified to see that two people were credited with writing this rubbish. Upon viewing this, you have confirmed to me that any dickhead can write for television and your show seems to be the chief employer. Well, Mr. Roberts, I'm putting your theory to the test as we ask the question tonight, can any dickhead write for TV? I'm, uh, I'm standing here now with 12 dickheads uh, and I'm going to be locking them in the room. Take the piece of paper. Take the piece of paper. Paper, pen, and a slab of beer. In you go. Oh, beer. beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully by the end of tonight's program, they'll have written some TV that will be suitable for your screens. And we'll find out later on whether or not any dickhead can write for TV. Thank you. We locked uh, 12 dickheads in a room, gave them a pen, a paper and a slab of beer and asked them to come up with some Australian television worthy of our screens. Let's just have a look at what they've come up with. Okay, it's a concept for a mini-series titled Smart Hut. And the plot line revolves around 12 blokes getting locked in a room and they have to take off their... Okay, I think we get the drift. Uh, I will now post this uh, via internal mail. Thanks, Mark. Uh, to the new manager director of the ABC, Mr. Jonathan Shear, who starts work on Monday. Hopefully that'll be on his desk for him. And soon it'll be uh, appearing on Australian TV screens, hopefully as a, another co-production with Artist Services. Well, Mr. Roberts, I hope you're satisfied. I think that's answered your question. Can a dickhead write for television? Yeah.